How to become bulletproof. Uh, today I'm gonna bring, bring you into my kitchen. We're gonna make bulletproof coffee and I'm gonna tell you a story about how I met Dave Asprey, the founder of bulletproof coffee, bulletproof coffee and some strategies you can use to become invincible and about how you can change your beliefs and behaviors so that you can uh, face anything and, and win. All right, so we're gonna start making the coffee. <clears throat> Cowboy. Welcome to a daily dose of greatness class. With your host, Trevor Crane, my daddy. He is going to help you take your life and business to the next level. Here I come to save the day. Trevor Crane here, 11 time number one best selling author and the founder of Epic Author Publishing, coming to you live every day so you can plug in every day to build your ideal business so you can live your ideal life. If my daddy can do it, then anybody can do it because. He's a weirdo. You're supposed to make me sound cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I never would have thought that I would be a coffee drinker. I know a lot of people love coffee. Myself, I always thought the coffee was unhealthy. So when I read Dave Asprey's book called Headstrong, uh, I was pretty surprised because basically he's done a lot of homework and a lot of science to find out that if you drink the right type of coffee with butter, if you would believe it. Uh, like a, if this is a non-salted uh, butter, it's called ghee, uh, pretty. Anyway, you blend it all together in the little blender here, and then you mix in it some of these different oils that he talks about, brain octane, XCT oil, and you blend it all together. Sounds really odd, like you wouldn't like it, and sounds a little crazy. But what's great about it is it makes your head strong. It gives you more mental capacity. I think the mission Dave Asprey has behind his company, uh, Bulletproof, is that it create. He wants to enhance mental performance. And so, uh, when I was at a Tony Robbins event months ago, I saw Dave Asprey speak on stage with a lot of conviction about this process. I went and bought his book. And this was a pretty cool thing. I bought his audiobook because I listened to a lot of audiobooks. And then I was so blown away by it, by all the cool things that I learned. I went and bought his physical copy of his book. And then I bought over $300 worth of coffee and supplements that I could go ahead and add to it as well. So here's the thing when I met Dave Asprey that I thought really stood out to me. And what is, I think can be a strategy that you use to improve your beliefs and behaviors and to become invincible or to become bulletproof. Those kinds are synonymous if you look them up. And that is that he walked with conviction. Like the guy really, what I read in the book and what I've met on stage and what I met personally when I shook his hand and he and he, uh, he and I played with my baby for a little bit. I've got a three month old baby named Maverick and. We got a chance to hang out just a little bit. He just, when somebody is speaking their truth and they have conviction behind what they say and do, you just believe them. I remember one of the first time I went to a Tony Robbins event and I was surprised by what I heard because I felt like I was hearing truths, things that I wish I would have learned years and years ago, but didn't. And it wasn't because he was making shit up. It was because he was talking about what I believed were these absolute truths. And he had confidence, conviction, and he was congruent. Like the guy you could tell, Tony Robbins, Dave Asprey, some of the most successful people that I've ever met, they walk their talk. And I think that's the strategy about what it takes to become bulletproof or invincible. And if you're watching the video here in my kitchen, I just added uh, boiling hot water to my French press. To, with uh, grounds of bulletproof coffee, about two tablespoons of bulletproof coffee. And then I let that um, steep, cook, whatever the hell you call it, for about five minutes. I think you can do that for two to five minutes, depending on how strong you want it. And then um, I'm about to add all of the little oils and butter and stuff like that to my Nutribullet. And I love my Nutribullet. I have two blenders, one is a Vitamix that I like a lot. And then this Nutribullet is great for like a single serving of something. <laughs> it's pretty easy to use and I love it. So um, going back to coffee making real quickly and then I'm gonna give you some things that you can do for, uh, to help you improve your conviction, your, the way you communicate with others, the, the confidence that you walk, in, that walk with, the certainty that, that you communicate in. Because like let's say that you're in sales or influence and I think we all are. Hold on, 
I was going to tell you about the coffee. <laughs> okay, I'm in the kitchen and I just poured a tablespoon of this XCT oil into the Nutribullet. And I don't even know what that's made of. I think that brain octane oil is basically like a coconut uh, oil but it's a really high grade. If you want to read all the science about what is actually in it, go to the website bulletproof.com <laughs> or go check out the Headstrong book or the Bulletproof Diet, and there's a bunch of stuff in there. But I put a tablespoon of each of these oils in, and then I mix in, if you haven't seen this before, this is going to be really weird, a tablespoon or two of ghee or this grass-fed um, high-quality butter. Uh, I think it's salt free and then you're gonna as soon as the coffee's ready I'm gonna blend that all up and then I'm gonna have this creamy deliciousness it's a little different than like the French vanilla coffee ice cream stuff that I or the, the creamer that I typically pour in but let's talk about this real quickly when I met Tony Robbins when I met Dave Asprey when I've interacted with some of the most successful people I've ever known what I felt is that they spoke with their, their truth. So the strategy to go ahead and I believe become bulletproof in your communication and in your world is that you go ahead and just need to learn how to be, how to have conviction and basically do what you, be you. It's just about authenticity. And I've got a little strategy to help you with that when you go out to communicate. Because I started mentioning sales and influence because I work a lot with business owners. I work a lot with coaches, consultants, and speakers, and service professionals that have to go out there and, and help other people and, and talk with them and influence them to buy their products and services. And I think we're all in the business of influence. And how do we operate so that we're bulletproof, so that we're not upset when somebody doesn't buy our stuff, or we're, or we're, not, we're not on like, like this emotional roller coaster of celebrating when we get a yes and being fearful and scared and sad uh, when we get a no. And I think the answer is, is that you communicate with authenticity. And I've got a little strategy for you that I'll give you here, and I think that it can help. So uh, I'm, I'm shooting this video in my kitchen. I'm not, this isn't a scripted training or anything. I wanted to shoot this for my YouTube channel and for my podcast. And I'm just being very real, raw, and uh, relevant with you, hopefully. Hopefully those are the three things that I, I wanna share with you first. And this is, these are the three things you can use when it comes to your communication. I think we're in a world where being too perfect and trying to be all polished and trying to make things look too snazzy actually robs the authenticity behind your communication. So one of the coolest things you can do is just be real, just be you. You know, be you when uh, you're even not at your best. You know, I'm wearing a t-shirt right now with superheroes on the front of it in my kitchen. I didn't clean my kitchen. I'm being real. I'm just connecting with you. I'm being raw. I will oftentimes in my communication share some of the scariest shit that's ever gonna happen to me. I'll, scare, I'll share with you the mistakes I've made. I'll share with you the challenges I've gone through. I'm being raw. I'm being authentic. And what that typically does some people are going to judge you. Some people are not going to like that you, that you have lied and cheated and stolen and made mistakes. But those assholes aren't going to go ahead and, and care about you anyway. They're not going to listen to your message. So you want to go where you're celebrated, not where you're tolerated. And too often times, people and business owners and are, are trying to bullshit others. Like, you know, and it, I remember when I was in the network marketing industry. And I think it's a phenomenal industry. There's many people that are amazing there. But there's a lot of people that actually say, do as I say, not as I do. I joined a network marketing company that did really well in for a short period of time. And um, one of the gentlemen that was my mentor and leader basically said, follow me and then, and I will show you what to do. And so it was interesting. He said one thing, but then his behaviors did something entirely different. And it was incongruent. I felt like he was a liar because he would say this, but then do that. He told me to go do this and, and then go do that. And I decided I didn't want, I didn't like this guy anymore. I didn't want to follow him. I didn't trust him. And there were several other things that happened after that that showed up where he was being inauthentic. And so I think one of the coolest ways you can just be you is be real, raw, and relevant. Now the relevant part is that you tie in your message around coffee or around your vulnerability or whatever it is that you're communicating about that you give people the context of why they're listening. Today's podcast and today's YouTube video is about you becoming bulletproof and how do you do that? And I just shared with you some stories about Tony Robbins and network marketing and Dave Asprey 
about how I have seen their, them walk their talk and communicate in this pattern. And then I gave you a little formula that is real, raw, and relevant. And then what I also like to share with people are results, okay? Results nobody can argue with. If you have results, they can't, people can't call bullshit on you, and they can't, it's really difficult for them to see you as somebody who is lying, and then you have to, I don't wanna argue with somebody if I'm in a position of influence, or I'm trying to influence someone. By the way, I'm just uh, taking the coffee now and finishing it up, so I just uh, pressed the French press with the coffee, and I'm gonna pour it into my little Nutribullet blender. If there's one more point on you becoming invincible, while I do that, you're gonna hear the blender kick in. So hold on one second. I've got all that uh, oil and butter in the coffee. That's it. I wanted to give you a challenge today to do what it takes to become bulletproof, to discover your own authenticity by communicating with people in a real, raw, and relevant matter. And ideally, I'm gonna show you my coffee cup here. For those of you who can't see it, it says, uh, best dad ever. Isn't that nice? I think my daughter gave that to me. <laughs> so, so to finish up the show today, I want to ask you a couple of questions. The first question is what area of your life are you currently walking your talk and practicing the principles that you believe in? I'm going to give you a second to think about that. What area of your life are you currently representing what you believe? And then the second question is what area of your life are you doing the opposite? where you're basically saying, do as I say, not as I do. And then my challenge for you today is to become bulletproof. Uh, that means uh, for you to decide to become bulletproof or in invincible when it comes to your communication and connection with others. And then I'd I challenge you to try bulletproof coffee. And then when you're going out there and communicating with other people, do your best to be authentic and real and raw and relevant and share the results that you create for yourself in your own life and that you help others create. Share those results with the people that you care about most and they want to help and serve. That's all I got for you today. If you like today's show, make sure that you like it and subscribe. Leave a comment if you would, and maybe share this with somebody else who you think might love it because every single day, it's a daily dose of Greatness Quest, and I can't wait to see you again tomorrow. Make today magnificent. To get even more awesomeness, which means all my best stuff, download my app by texting Trevor to 36260. It will show up right on your cell phone. Just text message the word Trevor to 36260. Talk to you soon.